How's it going guys? It's going off grid and today we're installing a cell phone booster in an RV or travel trailer. This is my 31 foot uh, open concept travel trailer and I will be installing this uh, cell phone booster because oftentimes where we like to camp there's very very low if any cell phone, cell phone signal and this can boost LTE and everything. I'll put a link to this. I believe I got this from Amazon. Uh, it will not be affiliate because they don't like me as an affiliate for some reason. I never seem to be able to get to work. So, you got the booster here. You get the outdoor antenna here. This is an omnidirectional one. This I like these. Well, I don't know if I like these yet, but if this works, I'm going to like it because it kind of sucks I always have to aim it, especially on a travel trailer. Um, I'm going to be mounting this to my old TV antenna, which is in here. Let's see here. So, right here. So, I'm mounting it to this, so I can, I'll be able to lower and raise it, and then I can also turn it. So, that'll be uh, a nice feature, too, to try and get better signal. And, yeah, it's, it's very straightforward. This is for mounting to the wall, then this hooks into there, this has its own mounting hardware there. I'm just going to be screwing into the this directly into the old TV antennas. Uh, I still have like this main structure. Uh, then you get your inside and out, outdoor cables. This looks like this is the outdoor cable, this is the indoor cable. And yes, that is correct because that's the only way it can be hooked up. Looks like we got some mounting hardware. Uh, I don't know what this would be for exactly. Like, does it go around this? No, it doesn't go around that. So, I guess they're it's for this. So they're thinking if you have something around, like a pole or something like that, for mounting. But I'm just gonna use self-tapping screws, four of them. And this is gonna go directly into the aluminum of the the previous antenna uh, holder. Anyways, let's get to it. Okay, so I have my hole drilled. I got an attic section, so I, you need a fairly long drill to get through both layers. And then I have my, this is actually for solar panels, or any wire really, and you can put your wire through. And I'm just going to put lap seal it in this one, and then close it up real good, and double check that make sure it's all good. I'm going to put lap seal it underneath all the way around, I'm going to screw it down, and then I'm going to put lap seal it all the way around it again. Um, I think I'm going to turn it this way because that's going to be the way of least, like the wind's going to be coming at it this way. So if it's raining while I'm driving or whatever, it will have a harder chance of getting in. And then I'm going to make it so I have enough, just enough to go around so I can uh, zip tie it to here and to here. And then I'm going to put this on the very end right here because this will lower it up and down. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put it up like this. Or down. I think I'm going to put it down so that I have to raise it, and then when I raise it, I'll have my antenna uh, up about three feet higher than the roof, and I think that'll be uh, very helpful. Okay, so I got four screws in here. One, two, three, four. Lap sealed the crap out of it. I got lap sealant in uh, the secondary hole here for an option, and then also lap sealant that one, and that self levels quite nicely. Then we got our wire here. I'm going to get some uh, zip ties so I can zip tie it to this bottom bar here. Zip tie it to this antenna here. And then this one I got to zip tie to the upper bar because that'll be lifting, lifting my antenna. I made it so this antenna is not resting on the roof whatsoever. I don't want it to be. Don't want it to rub through or anything like this. Even this one, this, this, I don't believe this is on the roof. Oh, there's a little rubber pad here, right there. So it actually is on the roof in the one spot. But, uh, yeah, just some zip ties and the roof insulation will be done. We'll go inside and finish the setup. Okay, so we're inside the trailer. Uh, when you walk in, so you got their door here. When you walk in, you come this way. And I'm going to have the inside antenna facing this way. So... The living area gets boosted. I don't think the bathroom is going to get boosted at all, hardly. But it'll also be on an angled wall. So if you're in front of the trailer, you should be getting a boosted signal as well. Um, the antenna for this is behind it. 
I gotta make sure that it's not too close. Um, I believe this is okay, but I gotta double check. I'm just doing some cable management. This is where my, got the hole coming in here. Just gotta get some of this stuff, that little pieces here, all those pieces off. And I'm gonna give that a little squirt with some silicone, tie wrap this up on the TV mount here. And then this here goes on the end of the cable. And I'll update you guys when I get a little bit further. After doing some reading in there, I found out I cannot put this inside antenna here. This will be way too close to the outdoor antenna. So I guess it'll get a bouncing effect. So this has to go at the very back of the trailer, pointing this way. I'll probably put it... Maybe I'll put it right there, or maybe I'll put it in one of the cabinets. I don't know. i got to figure this out now, because I was hoping I could put it right here. It would be behind the TV. Nobody would ever see it. But that is way too close. It's a good thing that I put. So the antenna is approximately right. It's right here. So I want to go straight up. So that's almost the very front of my trailer, and then it will be at the very back of my trailer. That's the most I can do, so hopefully that is enough. And we will try it and see if it works. Okay, so we got everything more or less hidden. We got the hole. Once the TV is in position, you don't see anything unless you really get in there. And then I got these railways just holding the cable up because I don't want it to get behind the slide. You can see you got another one there. And another one there. Mm -hmm. Got another one here, and then it goes to here. I would have liked to put just solid, but I don't have enough. That goes in there. I drill the hole. It comes into here. That's where the booster is going to be. And then I drill the hole on the underside here. So this is the, the inner antenna. That's just going to sit like that. So that's more or less what you're going to see. It's not super pretty, but I mean, it's not horrible looking either. Sorry, I got somebody texting me. And then all the stuff's hidden up there. You don't see anything. So I'm really, really happy with this. Um, well, at least the install. Let's see how this thing operates. Okay, so most of the install is done. We got almost everything ready to be hooked up. This is just going to go like this to here. And that's going to sit just like that. But i got to get power into here. And I have a 12-volt light right here. And then it also came with this 12 volt adapter for it, right here. So I'm thinking I'm going to try and tap into this 12 volt supply for that. It only takes two amps. I don't think it's going to affect the system at all. We'll find out anyways. I'm going to test it, see if it blows any fuses, and keep an eye on it for the first little bit. i got to just pull this up. i got to take some stuff out of here, pull it up, see how easy, how accessible it is. And if I have to, it'll just be, I'll just get, uh, I believe I have another cigarette outlet. Do I have one or not? Uh, no, I only have one. I don't want to use it. I got another project for that. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to try and tap into this. Hey, so, I finished my install. Well, kind of. I still got to test it up outside. <coughs> got a little wire railway there. That follows behind this trim all the way along. I've got a wire railway here, which goes into here. So this is coming from my outdoor antenna, and it wraps around there, goes into here, and then my indoor antenna comes up, wraps around the same spot. I hope it's insulated enough that it doesn't interfere. I'll see if I have issues. I'm not sure if I will or not. Uh, this is just Velcroed again, so that it comes with the kit. This is the power cord coming up. I decided to go with the AC route, uh, mostly because I didn't want to screw with this too much. I just the cord just goes down the side through this other uh, wire rail, as you can see, and then it plugs behind the couch. And I have not tried this yet, so uh, yeah, let's uh, give her the power on and see what happens. Okay, so we got a bunch of lights. L T E A. Oh, everything's green. Look at that. Okay, well, I'm going to try it and see if it boosts my signal or not.
Okay, there it is raised up. That is the omnidirectional antenna. They say they want it uh, 12 inches above any other metal surface. So I believe that's close to three feet. That'll be really, really good. And let's go inside and see if I get better signal. Immediately coming in here, I went from two bars LTE outside to full bars LTE inside. So it is working for sure. I'm super happy with that result. Um, a little bit messy on the inside, but it's not too, too bad. I think the outside looks very good. I'm pretty happy with it. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. I'm going to have to test some performance and see uh, how good it is. And underneath here, you can see I locked the batteries in, at least from moving side to side. There's a little piece of wood there. There's a piece of wood in the back side and on the side. I've got my battery there, my extra 8.5 kilowatt hours. And yeah, that's uh, a quick install for you. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please comment below. Here's a quick shot with the slide in. And you can see the, the cable raceway and the spots where it's missing. That's just to keep it up and above. Maybe I'll, I might put RV tape there eventually. I'm not sure, but... So far, it seems to be working nicely, and I tried it, and it definitely boosts my sing signal, so we'll see. I'll have to try it in an area where I don't get good signal.